The limits of our language become the limits of our lives and our world. Because when you have something inside you that you really want to articulate to people that you love and who matter to you, but you can't, and therefore you have been misunderstood and misjudged, and perhaps you are being to some degree um, excluded because of that misunderstanding. It's frustrating and expensive emotionally because you feel something deeply, but it's like a knotted up ball of string inside you that you can't give language to. And so you have to invent language. As a communicator, all of my life, I have been realizing that part of what I'm supposed to do is not just to speak, but to find language that helps explain people's lives to themselves, because everyone's life has a language. And most people can't interpret the language of their own lives. They are foreigners to their native tongue, as it were, because they get stuck with not able to language things that matter to them. So they settle into this um, internal emotional disruption, upheaval, pain about things that they can never give language to. And others offer them words, and those words may be in the neighborhood of what they feel, but they don't quite do it. And um, I was Googling some words the other day that people have invented, hilarious and interesting, and you can do this too. And I want you to do this. There was a word I found called nonversation, which means a completely useless conversation. We've all had a bunch of those, eh? Selfish was another one I found online, C-E-L-L, when people are on their phones to the point where they are rude and ignorant to the people around them. I found another word called chair drop to describe what people do when they use a chair for their clothes instead of hanging them up <laughs> or a floor drop. Hybrid dating, when people get involved with a new relationship and exclude their friends all of a sudden because they're obsessed with the new relationship. Or type of ventilating, when people vent in texting rapidly to someone. I don't know what word do you need to invent or phrase do you need to create so your world doesn't stop expanding. Brutiful is another beautiful word I heard a while back that, that, that describes this combination of it's brutal, but somehow beautiful at the same time. Someone asked me the other day, where was I on vulnerability? How do I feel about vulnerability? I invented a word. I said, I'm vulnerable. I am vulnerable, but guarded, because somehow that summed up what I wanted to say about that at that time. I don't know what words do you need to invent and create so that your world can keep expanding, because where your language stops, you get stuck and frustrated and knotted internally, and I want your world to keep expanding. So go ahead, invent any word you want to invent today that somehow gives language to what you are frustrated about, can't articulate, and it matters to you to be able to do that. Go for it. Invent words. Why not? Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Hope that helps.